Mateus camp is to the right. No rush, is there? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Trying to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I hope. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor... and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Heard that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy. Tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skull and Hati, it'll be a fellow child. <laughs> You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods, either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Eldis Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir's the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why did he exile? I had to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. <laughs> Impressive! Emir, you once told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Einherjar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. 
or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah, or that again. Sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. <laughs> At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skolanati's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map. Isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. But besides no. the king and the elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine no. he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. No. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. Oh! 
hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. <laughs> Put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Come on! From Helheim. Heim to almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. Does nothing. Just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. <laughs> Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildas Fini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. In 
in Asgard. What else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuryar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They'll never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. like the egros. We can get across from up here. So, we report back to Hildesfini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the light elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for masks. That is his concern, not ours. Sure. But if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. Hmm. Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossinger. Hounds mm -hmm. prized for their pinpoint mm -hmm. accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einherjar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. <laughs> Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Oh. 
Follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us that some of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. <laughs> Alas, we're on Neathhog. It was in our way. I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathhoek protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. We're coming for you, Ingvi. position <laughs> what idiots no oh. if it isn't queen mistletoe herself hilarious by the way been a while i'm dull <laughs> and you must be the little half breed's father lucky day <laughs> You have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Mm. <laughs> the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? Whoa! What did Cool Tom forever do to you? <laughs> Have some life rocks on me. Strike him down, cool topper. So aggressive, so angry. I thought I could at least break a sweat. 
No, brother. The spare remains our best chance. Oh. <laughs> Hello! The Scions of the Aesir brought down by an old geezer's cane.
monsters. What is going on in that empty little head? Oh, no, 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 no. You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him! <laughs> I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. You have been way over your head! know who I am? I am the Watchman of the Aesir, the Herald of Ragnarok! I am going to find that little mongrel of yours and beat his face into a pulp! Only one of us is walking away from this. And it sure as shit will not be you. Don't dare cry and spare me. Us. That was just. Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate 
of fate's breaking us.